While I often talk about the PlayStation 4's great exclusive offerings, maybe you'll hear me talk about the great PSVR offerings, one thing we don't talk enough about is the increase and added depth to the PlayStation 4's free-to-play library of all things. Going into this generation, I don't think free-to-play games were one of those things that a lot of gamers were looking towards, but man oh man, five years after the original release of the PlayStation 4, there are a lot of free-to-play titles to sink your teeth into, and that's what we're going to be going over in this video, specifically 10 free-to-play games that you can spend countless hours on and without further ado, let's just get right into this. Kicking things off, we have Realm Royale. Yes, Battle Royale games are on the rage right now, but I just wanted to mention one on this list, that being Realm Royale. Realm Royale is similar to a lot of other Battle Royale genre titles in which 100 players drop down from an airship and must traverse a shrinking safe area. You'll collect equipment such as weapons to fight and eliminate other opponents to aim to be the last remaining player. However, there are a lot of elements that make Realm Royale stand out. For example, its visual style and gameplay actually draw comparisons to other MMORPGs of all things such as World of Warcraft. There are different classes and there's a lot of depth to the gameplay. To me, a lot of the Battle Royale titles seem a little bit bland and a little bit too straightforward. Forward. I'm not saying Realm Royale has a crazy amount of depth to it, but at the same time, I do think it's a little bit more diverse than all of the other BR offerings, so I would definitely recommend you to give it a look, even if you're one of those people that have been completely turned off by the genre. I think Realm Royale offers a lot for you guys to enjoy. Moving on from that, we have a free-to-play title that was recently released in Switchblade. Switchblade is a completely free arena-based 5v5 vehicular shooter that combines high-octane combat with an ever-shifting array of strategic choices. Now, when you think of 5v5, vehicular combat doesn't really come to mind, but that's what Switchblade is, and the game seamlessly allows you to switch between heavily armed vehicles at any time to create endless tactical choices. This one's one where strategy does play a big part. Switchblade just released, and I would give it a recommendation for you guys to check out. Moving on from that, one of the free-to-play titles that I think is the most accessible to any gamer and just easy on the eyes is Warface. Warface is an MMO first-person shooter from the creators of Far Cry and Crisis. It is packed with cooperative and competitive action, a range of game modes, and a wealth of weapons for you to get your hands on. You've got a variety of different classes that are leveled simultaneously, rifleman, sniper, engineer, medic. You've got two powerful factions as well, and endless possibilities in PvP over nine game modes on 50-plus maps. You've got ranked matches, clan wars, and everything in between Warface face is a first person shooter for you guys to delve into and visually it's a pretty pleasing game to look at as well. Moving on from that, MMORPGs are still something the PlayStation 4 is growing its library of, but one that I think will cater towards those of you that aren't a big fan of MMOs is Terra. Now, the issue with MMOs to console gamers, I think, is the combat style. A little bit slow-paced, but that is not the case at all with Terra. It's described as a new breed of MMO with true action combat. You aim, dodge, and time your attacks for intense and rewarding tactical combat. So it's a little bit more action-oriented, and I do think that'll be up the alleys of console players, since PC players have been accustomed to traditional MMOs most for so long, Terra does put a little bit of a spin on it. However, there is still strategy. Your skill, position, timing, and aim are going to dictate the outcome of combat, not how quickly you cycle through the targets with the tab key. And Terra makes a very smooth transition over to controllers as well, so that's a great added fact. If you're looking to get into MMOs, I think Terra is a pretty good starting point. These button assignments to your personal preference. A brand new lock-on system allows players to keep the action centered on their screen and keep enemies in their sights. The entirety of Terra's UI has been fully redesigned. The interface is now full screen. Moving on from that, we have Paladins. Paladins is a free-to-play fantasy team-based shooter sensation where you wield guns and magics as a legendary champion of the realm. You'll be customizing your core set of abilities to play exactly how you want to play. Paladins is set in a vibrant fantasy world and features a diverse cast of champions ranging from sharpshooting humans to mech-riding goblins, mystical elves, and jetpack-clad dragons. Each champion is also obviously going to bring a unique set of abilities, so they're all going to play a little bit differently, and to find the one that bet suits your playstyle, that that's an added experience in its own right. And of course, champions are added pretty regularly. <laughs> 
Moving on from that, this quite possibly could be my favorite free-to-play title, and that is Warframe. Now, Warframe was a game that released a while back on PC, and initially, it had quite a bit of issues, to the point that we thought this game could actually shut down. However, the dev team stayed committed to the experience, and this is one of those games that over the years has just gotten better and better and better. And the recent expansion in Fortuna has just added so much more content. There are over 30 Warframes, each fully customizable with their own unique abilities, and you can create the perfect Warframe for you. A wide variety of different weapons are at your arsenal, katanas, crossbows, flamethrowers, and a lot more than that. And the combat is a joy to play, an absolute sensation. I would highly give Warframe a look. It's not just on the basis that it's a free-to-play game and there's no investment. However, it is just a very engaging game and a game that you can grind out so many hours. Yes, it is a little bit grindy, but a lot of fun with its excellent combat. Moving on from that, The Witcher is a big franchise, however, Gwent was a little card game in The Witcher 3 that turned out to be such a great experience that CD Projekt Red turned it into its own full-fledged free-to-play title in Gwent The Witcher card game. Now, I'm a big fan of card games, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! way back in the day, and I played Hearthstone very recently, however, Gwent does have a little bit of a spin to it. It's a turn-based card game, of course, between two players, with each game taking three rounds. You need to play one card each turn from a deck of at least 25, and there's a lot of depth to the game. If you played Gwent as a part of The Witcher 3, that was pretty fleshed out, but it's even more fleshed out in Gwent the Witcher card game. And the homecoming update diversified the game quite a bit. If you're into card games, if you're into strategy titles, hey, the PlayStation 4 doesn't have a lot of great card game options, but Gwent the Witcher card game is definitely one to check out. Honestly, it might be the only one, but it's a worthwhile one. In close combat. No mercy! Range units that include archers and mages. Enough! And heavy hitter siege weapons like ballistas and catapults. Apart from unit cards, you can also play special cards. Moving on from that, we have Neverwinter. Neverwinter is an action MMORPG based on the acclaimed Dungeons & Dragons fantasy RPG. And that means you've got some epic stories, action combat, and classic role-playing await the heroes that are getting into the game. You play as one of eight Dungeons & Dragons character classes and form groups of up to five player characters. Neverwinter itself is based on a modified version of the Dungeons & Dragons 4th edition rule set. It includes the use of healing powers and action points. This is another one where you're going to want to play with a couple of friends to get the best experience possible. Moving on from that, we have Smite. Smite is a free-to-play third-person multiplayer online battle arena, and MOBAs have become one of the biggest sensation in all of gaming. Usually associated with PC gaming, a game like League of Legends and Dota, of course, are very big. However, Smite, I think, is catered towards those of you that are looking to get into MOBAs or maybe just more associated with console gaming because I do think that top-down view and the aesthetic style of the top MOBAs in League and Dota are going to be off-putting to a lot of people, but Smite is very engaging. Now, it has all of the mechanics that are known for in traditional MOBAs. There are a wide variety of different characters, each that play a little bit differently, they counter one another, and there's a lot of strategy and teamwork in the game. If you want to see what the MOBA sensation is all about, but you also want a game that's a little bit accessible, I do think Smite is quite a good try. And again, as a free-to-play title, you have nothing to lose. And lastly, we have World of Tanks Mercenary. World of Tanks is a global online multiplayer free-to-play title dedicated to tank warfare in the mid-20th century. With realistic vehicles and environments, you'll be able to command history's most powerful tanks and experience combat on the PlayStation for free. There's strategic, fast-paced 15v15 online action, over 450 authentic tanks to choose from among eight nations, and you'll be able to battle across more than 80 maps with different terrains and weather effects. A lot of depth to World of Tanks Mercenaries and a lot of content to get into. Considering it's a free-to-play game, Tank Warfare has never been so easy to get into.
And that's gonna conclude this video. I know a lot on this channel. We talk about various exclusives and we talk about the best pay to play games. And yes, while free to play games do have a little bit of a negative stigma attached to it, give these games a chance. They're free after all, you've got nothing to lose. And a lot of them you'll notice you don't really have to sink any real world money to have a great time. Yes, some of them are a little bit grindy and you'll be tempted to spend a little bit money. But if you have a little bit of patience, you can enjoy a lot of these games, no problem. And that's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.